Hello everyone and welcome to ABB Robot Studio Tutorials. In this ABB Robot Studio Tutorial we explain how to open a new project and add a robot to the workspace of that project. Then we explain how to manipulate the view. That is we explain how to zoom, rotate and pan the robot view and the workspace view. Then we explain how to create a virtual controller then we explain how to turn on the simulation of a flex pendant or a teach pendant. For those of you who are new to robotics, teach pendant or a flex pendant in the case of ABB robots is a control box for programming the motions of a robot. And we explain how to simulate and how to control the robot by using a flex pendant. And finally, we will explain three motion modes by using a flex pendant, linear, angle rotation, and orientation motion modes. So let's immediately start. After you open the Robot Studio, you will see this main starting window. So let's click on Project and let's click on Create the Project. Note that we will later on add the robot and a virtual controller. So click over here to start. And be patient. Okay. So here is the main workspace. The first step is to learn how to actually add the robot to our workspace. To add the robot, click over here on ABB library and here for simplicity I will add the simplest possible robot IRB120 and click on OK and here is our robot. The next step is to learn how to zoom, how to rotate and how to pan the robot view and the workspace view. So let's learn how to zoom. To zoom you need to use the middle rolling mouse button. So if I roll the mouse button forward and backward I can zoom in or zoom out. Another way for zooming in and zooming out is to hold the middle mouse button and to move the mouse left or right. Okay. The next step is to learn how to rotate the view. To rotate the view press control hold control press shift hold shift and move the mouse button left or right and in this way you can rotate the view again control shift keep both control and shift press and move the mouse left or right and finally let's learn how to pan the view that is how to move the view left or right to do that simply press control and move the mouse left or right. Good. Okay. Next, let's learn how to add a virtual controller to our robot. Virtual controller is necessary in order to simulate the robot motion. To do that, click on virtual controller over here and click on from layout. And over here, I will use the standard or default options. Click on next and simply use the default option. Use this robotware version given over here click on next and click on finish and here wait okay now you have to wait here until you see the green status over here currently the status is still red so let's wait until we see the green status okay good now you can simply control the robot by clicking over here and then you can simply select the axis and you can move the robot by itself. However, this is not what we're going to learn and explore in this video tutorial since this is only motion in this software. We want somehow to be able to bring up the teach pendant or flex pendant and to simulate the real life scenario because in real life you will have a small box control box with the joystick that you will use for controlling the robot. So let's try to simulate this real life scenario. To do that, click on controller and over here you need to click on operating mode. Okay, currently the operating mode is auto, however we need to select manual operating mode and click on enable it device. Okay, and you can see that the status is now yellow over here. Now. Let's learn how to bring up the flex pendant or the teach pendant. For those of you who don't know, a teach pendant or a flex pendant in the case of ABB Robot Studio is a control box for programming the motions of robots. So let's learn how to bring this box. 
If you go in this menu, Control Tools, you will see this option Flex Pendant. And if you click over here, you will see the Flex Pendant. Now, what I don't like about ABB Robot Studio is that the size of this robot wear Flex Pendant is extreme. It's really extreme. So consequently, we will have to somehow move it while controlling the robot motion. So, this is exactly what you will see once you see an ABB robot and near the ABB robot you will actually see this flex pendant. Okay, so let's learn how to control the robot by using the flex pendant. Now click over here and you will see the menus over here. Okay, so now if you click on the jogging menu, so click here on the jogging menu, you will see this thing over here. This is very interesting thing. Over here we can select the motion mode. So click here and over here you can see three possible motion modes. These two first options are actually rotating the robot axis independently. Okay, so this is one motion mode. Another motion mode is a linear motion mode and the third motion mode is a reorient motion mode. So let's start with the first motion mode. Make sure that this is selected and click OK. Now what I will do, I will simply move move this teach pendant on the side such that you can see the robot motion over here and I will pan this view a little bit OK over here and let's now rotate it a little bit and position everything. OK let's now bring it here and let's bring back our teach pendant. Now, here you can see the joystick directions. You see 2, 1, 3. So what is 2, 1, 3? 2, 1, 3 are the numbers denoting the corresponding joints or the corresponding axes. So, okay, so let's see what is 1. Uh -huh. You see here in this direction, that is left, right. So if you move this joystick left or right, we, were, we are going to move axis 1. So let's try and test this. Okay, see I'm pressing now left or right and you see the motion. Good. Let's try to move the robot around the second axis. So this is the first axis to repeat. The first axis is this vertical axis. It's basically this joint over here. So we are revolving the robot around this joint. How about 2? So what is 2? Most likely 2 is this axis or this joint. So let's see. To move 2, we need to press this joystick up or down. Uh -huh. Here it is. Down, up. Good. Let us now see the third axis. The third axis is most likely the rotation around this joint. So let's test this. To do that, we need to actually rotate our joystick. That is, you can see these arrows. And by doing this, we can actually move around this axis. Okay, so this is the first motion mode. Now, here currently we were moving 1, 2, and 3. However, we can also move 5, 4, 5, and 6. Again, click over here and select axis 4, 5, and 6 and click OK. So let's move 4, 5, and 6. So let's see, 5 is down and you can see that I'm actually moving this wrist over here. 4 is left or right. Okay. And 6 is actually rotation of this coordinate system over here, as you can see it over here. Next, let's learn how to move the robot along X, Y, and Z axis. So let's bring again our teach pendant over here, click on the motion mode, and click on linear, and click OK. So what's happening over here behind the scenes? First of all, let's analyze what's written over here. We can see X, Y, and Z. These are the X, Y, and Z coordinates of a certain point. We still have to figure out what's the point that we are actually tracking. 
And you can see here, Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4. So what are these? These are actually the components of a quaternion. And you can click here and you can see more about the position shown in work object. Okay, this is position shown in work point object and you can see orientation format is quaternions. You can use quaternion or Euler angles. Let's select Euler angles and let's click OK. And now you can see the Euler angles over here. Good. Now, over here you can see another important information. You can see the current coordinate system is base coordinate system. Okay, this is very important. Then, you can see another thing that the tool zero is attached, right? We are going to cover this in future tutorial. And these three things are very important. So to move the robot, you can see over here, we have X, Y, and Z. So to move along the X axis, we press down and see what's happening. Uh -huh. So what is the point that we are actually moving? Let's try to rotate the view a little bit. So you can see it better. And where is the coordinate system? You can see the coordinate system X is along this line, Y is along this line, Z is along this line. So let's see. Uh -huh. Let's bring it again. Okay, so X, we move. Actually, this is not X. Let me just move back. So let's see X. So here's X. X is like this. How about Y? Y is like this. Okay. And how about Z is like this, and it's like this. So what is actually the point that we are moving? Well, we are tracking actually this point, the TCP point. And the coordinates over here that you can see are actually the coordinates of this point. And this is very important to keep in mind. Now, we can further investigate this by trying to move the robot to zero position. However, I will leave this to you. So now we know how to move the robot linearly. You can see we are moving this point along the y-axis, up and down, and along the x-axis. So let's do something like this. You can see it's you can see over here. Let me now zoom in. And let's try to bring the robot all the way down. Let's see what will happen. Will we be able to do that? Okay, you can see Z is decreasing, it's decreasing. Let's see again. Pan the view zoom. Let's rotate a little bit. And let's see where we are currently. Okay, this might be the best position to watch what's happening behind the scenes. So let's decrease Z all the way down. And we can see Z, Z, Z. And you can see clearly that we move this point all the way almost to zero. And this is very important. Of course, this will never happen in practice since over here we already crashed the robot since we hit the floor. Okay, so let's bring Z all the way up. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see it. And let me move this view so you can see what's happening and rotate a little bit. Okay, the next motion mode that we will learn is to reorient. Okay, so to do that, click on motion mode and click over here and click OK. So let's see now what's happening. X, Y, and Z. Okay, so you see now what's happening over here. I'm actually rotating these joints. This was actually rotation around the Z axis, as you can see. The Z axis is this blue axis over here. Now we are rotating around that axis. How about rotating around X? To do that, you see over here what's happening. We are rotating around this axis. That is around this red line. Mm -hmm. How about Y rotation? Here is Y rotation. We are rotating around this 
green line and that's it. So we are adjusting the orientation of our coordinate system over here. That is the coordinate system attached to the TCP. That is the coordinate system attached to the tool center point. Okay, that's all for today.